Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our series. Uh, I've been talking to faculty and staff and some of our uh, emeritus professors around campus. And today I have with me Laura Jackson Stenlin, who just recently received tenure. And I just wanted to sort of ask her uh, about her experience at Bethany to start with. And um, maybe we can get into a little bit of how she thinks some of these experiences have helped our students. So welcome, Laura. Congratulations on tenure, by the way. Uh, Thank you. And, and just can you tell me, maybe just start out with your experience at Bethany, how, how you got here and what you've been doing since then. Uh, I actually started out at Bethany as the assistant athletic trainer um, a number of years ago. Um, and I was working in athletics full time and then teaching some classes, um, which really, I'll be honest, I didn't I didn't think I'd be a teacher when I when I started all this. I, I didn't see that side of me, um, but I was the assistant athletic trainer for two years, and then I moved into the head athletic trainer role for three years while still teaching a number of classes. Um, and then I had the actual opportunity to move over to the faculty side, um, and it was an opportunity I didn't I didn't want to pass up. I I thoroughly enjoyed being in the classroom and teaching and and um, you know working with our students on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So um, I, I jumped to the faculty side, and I've been there for the last six years. And, and doing an awesome job, may I say. So um, thank you for everything. So um, just recently, you were able to get a lab space in the library. So can you explain what that is to everyone and, and how you folks are gonna use it? So we have a sports medicine concentration and we do a lot of hands-on classes. Um, we also do like CPR, different first aid type classes. Um, and it's been it's been very beneficial. We, we started kind of using it a little bit this year um, for us to have an area where we can have all of our supplies in, in one spot um, and not we're not lugging CPR mannequins around campus and, and doing different things. So um, we, we have two rooms that we use. One is like a classroom setup. It's um, we've got our, our TV for projection and um, a little classroom space. And then we have an area where we have um, I'm going to say all of our toys. So all of our uh, machines that we use to teach students on uh, you know, lots of posters for different rehabs and different uh, body parts, um, tables so we can do our hands-on learning in there. Um, we have this this cool little space that, that we've designed to allow us to really um, have some one-on-one -on -one time really focusing on practicing with the students versus, you know, carrying stuff around campus and, and moving around as much as we were doing before. So it's been really cool. Excellent, thanks. And so is it just your majors that are using that lab or other students using it as well? Uh, right now, I think just our majors are using it. So um, we, I think we figured out we could put 10 classes in there um, over the course of the academic year. So free up some matrix space for our, all of our other professors. Um, so eventually we'll start try to put more, more of our classes down there as, as we go through, but just for the, the near future, that's kind of our, our beginning plans. Excellent, thank you. And so, as I mentioned at the beginning, you just received tenure, which I was so delighted to bring your name before our board. Uh, but tell me, what has tenure meant for you? Why, why was that something you wanted to pursue? Uh, it was a challenge. So tenure, I don't think I fully understood tenure when I started being a faculty member, just because it, it wasn't in my wheelhouse. Um, but it, it's it's a big thing to, to earn it and to put the work in for it. Um, you know, I, I, I owe a lot of, of thank yous to my friends and my family and our Bethany community for their, their assisting me in this. Um, you know, I learned a lot about myself during the process. I learned about a lot about what my goals are for the future and how I, I, I have this, this um, little piece of me that always wants to get better and, you know, ways that I can get better and, and finding different things to do. And um, I think it, it's taught me a lot about myself and just the perseverance piece. Excellent. Thanks. I think that's exactly what a, a lot of faculty members find out. So I'm glad to have been able to walk some of that journey with you. I know when I was a VPAA, we were talking about your materials way back then. So uh, I'm glad you finally navigated that process. And I look forward to someday talking to many of our students, uh, alums, and they can tell me about their fantastic faculty member, Dr. Jackson Stenlin. <laughs> uh, so. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And to all of those of you around, uh, we've been uh, working on a number of these videos. And so we hope that you will join us again in the future. Thanks so much.